So, last week we recorded episode 101. Today we're recording episode 101.5. 102. <laughs> With Rotox. Rotox episode 102. 102. Rotox. Hopefully, this one goes better than the first one. So, this topic is going to be. But well, I have a lot of time to think. The topic is family tradition. We're going to talk about your traditions. Oh, God, I don't have any. <laughs> and then my traditions, which is how that's going to be easy. And then. The generate the LeBron's generation Traditions. tradition moving forward, and exactly. some of the things that we learned along the way with Jesus, and along the way as when we got together, how different we were, even yes. though we we're both. No, nah, you're white. I'm Hispanic. Com- no, yo soy no. hispana. No. You are no. very Americanized. No. no. The, the, you can't say no, no. because P- Puerto Ricans are Americanized. <laughs> yes. And the real Hispanics out there, because there is a bunch of his, there is a bunch of Americans that claim to be well, I'm American too, but anyways, I was born in Puerto Rico. You're there is a bunch of people, including Puerto Rico, that w- they were born in New York, Massachusetts, you name it. And then they're like, Boricua, Boricua, ajo, ajo. Yeah, but I think you can't compare, like me, versus some people that claim they're Hispanic and they can't even speak Spanish. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. So about this topic, family. So family, but I want to go deeper into what you experience, what I experience, what I learned, what you learned, and then... What we as a family of two, and of Sasha. four, <laughs> Sasha and Thor, we're gonna do for the LeBron's generation moving forward, and and what we learned uh, since Jesus came to our life. What we like and don't like. Don't like about you know things that we grew up with. Yeah. In, in like a small s- summary, what were the things that you can remember that you will say, I will never do this for my generation moving forward, meaning the family that we create moving forward? So, you know this, the internet doesn't, but I grew up in a very strict uh, Pentecostal household, very religious Um and it was challenging. It was difficult growing up because you see people around you doing stuff that you don't do at home, whether like, it's like holidays, um, whether it's so, so, to so. the point of like going to the pool, huh? like like going to the pool with friends. Was it? Yeah, I was restricted from doing that sometimes. But it was because of the religion? It because, uh, yes. And I think... So what religion? Um, P- Pentecostal. I, I think it was... It was Pentecostal. But it was his Hispanic. Hispanic. And they're and, in you know, a different level. They are. Hispanic, the way Hispanics, I think, view religion is very different. Um, and it can either damage you and break you, or I think it did the opposite to me. What where did you do? I was strong, and I found ways to keep myself distracted. Like, something for me that I think I won't take away from my family is sports. Like, the love of sports. The love of soccer Sundays, right? Because sports became your drug. Yes. Yeah, mine too. And yes. a lot of people. But then there is the sports that becomes a drug. Mm-hmm. And, and then there is drugs, drugs that, that become drugs. drugs. Yeah. And then that's when I think it depends on your, yourself. And I think also the people that you surround, because I was surrounded by other friends and families, and I would see what they would do. And I, and, and I think that also sort of helped me to not go crazy. So, um, where, whereas I was restricted from having friends growing up, I somehow still found a way to make friends, to know other humans, to play sports. And I think that helped a lot. Um, we didn't really have any traditions. Um, 
we grew up not celebrating anything. I think you know you know that. We grew up not celebrating Christmas. And why is that, though? I think, again, it just has to do with religion. Because he's the, the devil? It, basically, you know, everything, like everything is, is, is the demonio, you know. And uh, everything is an idol. And, you know, how they use that, that verse that says, don't have other idols before me. Sometimes we use it incorrectly. Or Pentecostals use it incorrectly. Well, many verses that, that we have been learning. Learning. Um, with professionals <laughs> yes. of how so they turn they, or use verses. They misinterpret, and it's missed. Oh. It, and I think that's where um, I don't want to make the same mistakes with our family. And I know we won't, but there's always a fear. Hell. <laughs> You're like, hell no. That's, that's trauma. Cause that like, is. I know Pentecostal. <laughs> and... <laughs> And I, I'm like, Ickies, never going back. Um, but never going back to a Pentecostal environment. Because I think there's many people that can relate with how I'm feeling. They just haven't heard it from anybody else probably saying it. Um, but because of that religion or that belief, it affected or affects traditions that one might have with their family. And and it's 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 a it's a, a misinterpretation of what they think God wants, and then you're affecting your whole you know like my childhood. It wasn't rough. It just was restricted. And then on top of the restriction, one thing I don't want our kids to see is us ever arguing in front of them. Well, that that I I think that just depends of the the couple, uh -huh. so the husband and wife. Um, you know, if the if the couple, the husband and wife, they're not agreeing and they're on they're the same page, basically hate, hate each other. Yeah, that have nothing to do with religion or anything. That's just their issues. No, well, or but or, if you're of such religion, or if I'm going to use Pentecostal in this term. If you're Pentecostal and you claim to be the Christian that you are and you claim that everything is a demonio, why so much arguments? Hypocrisy. <laughs> what, are, um, what are some things you remember? Your tradition? Not tradition. Or, or, fa or no, no, my family. It's a very small family. Um, this is just me, my mom, my brother, my dad. But they got divorced very early. I was in first grade, I think I remember. I was in first grade when they got separated. And I didn't ever care because I saw it like, cool, I got two houses, you know. Two of, every, two of everything. Sort well, my, of. And then my dad was a lawyer and my mom was a teacher. So my mom was like poor and my dad was better financially. But, uh, you know, when your parents get divorced, you, you always want to move with your mom. I moved with my mom. I think that's the norm. Going yeah. with my mom. My brother did too, and and that lasted a few years because he went kind of crazy, and um, so did my mom. But then I just started living with everybody, which is also really good and a blessing at the time because I got to learn from everyone. I have a lot of friends. Uh -huh. Play sports again. Sports, thank God, took over my life instead of some shitty stuff. Volleyball. You played college ball, right? College volleyball? College, high school. And then uh, movies. Movies is it's you watch what I do movies. now. You know, <laughs> movies saved my life. It, it taught me a lot. I think movies can is teach a us good a lot of things. resource to teach kids and, and everyone. And I, going back to religion, religion, you know, when they say that every single movie is the devil, I can't fucking stand that because it makes no sense. There's so many good people out there making movies and stuff, and it doesn't have to be a religious movie. And it doesn't yes, have to be a Jesus movie. It doesn't. It could because be any type of movie. you can learn so much know? from every movie. Every Just movie. common sense in general. And uh, I, you know me, and I love research, and I started doing a lot of research about all kinds of movies and stuff to see what's the message. There's a message, there's a subject, and um, so I'm reading this new book because I'm, I want to write um, scripts. Uh, I'm reading a book about screenplay, and there's one thing that in order to write a screenplay you need and it's a subject which is 
a story, a character, and an action, and 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 you're gonna learn from that. Yeah. It doesn't matter what it is about. You're gonna learn something, and I learned so much with movies. <laughs> so, anyways, <laughs> movies uh, help me not to be negative when my family was all messed up or whatever. And then, um, would you say really, would you say movies was sort of your escape? It was because I was able to go to a different world in my head while watching movies. So I would watch movies all day and, yeah. and uh, all kinds of movies, all types of movies. And, uh, and it was like a, a way out in my brain. And I think that's why I'm so creative is because I can see things in my head. And, and you know, like a little all kid. All the movies you've watched. No, but like I can't get in there. Whatever movie I'm watching, if I'm watching Plenty of the Apes, which I did, a couple of days ago, my brain goes into that world of apes. <laughs> yes. So, yeah, it's. I mean, I guess not everybody can do that. That's why I understand movies. That's why I, I like watch them in, in detail. And you almost study them. And, 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 and it just, it just kind of makes you smart. It's like reading a book, but then instead of reading it, you, uh, you're uh, watching it. You know, yeah. And this is different topics and stuff. But the only thing I think that I learned of what not to do for my generation is to have that poor mentality. You know, my dad and we have a good relationship, and you just met my mom, I and did. we also have She's a good so relationship. And, and and it wasn't always like that. I didn't talk to my mom for how long? I think you went eight years. Like eight years without talking to my mom, and I was fine. You know, I didn't know any better. And then when. When we started learning from God and the Word and, and, and stuff. And honoring our parents. Well, we learned that through, through the, you know, the church and, and, and reading the Word and stuff. That's when I was like, you know, I remember that was uh, like one of our pastors. He's like, oh, try, try to fix that. And then uh, the, the next day I texted my mom after eight years, like nothing. Like, like what's both, up? Both of you guys acted like, like nothing, nothing had happened. And that's what we do in my family. We're not dramatic like a bunch of other families. That was insane. We, whatever, eight, eight years, you know, and then we just see each other for the first time. It was like we just saw each other the day before, you know. But we we don't have a bad relationship, that's what I'm trying to say. But it was, uh, you know, that poor mentality of, like, my father will always say, um, get a job with the government and, and make a... And have a, a 401k. Have a pension. I think that's just that generation of parents, because my parents were like that, too. Where no, I learned. Um, it's not, it, I don't, you know, we say a lot of that was generation, but I know like a lot of actors today that they're working actors. They told their parents, Hey, I'm, I want to be an actor, and they supported it. And they were older than us, so it's not every parent, but I think there's a big handful of parents back then that you know they didn't have the same resources that we have today that they will say get a job with the government get a pension get a get insurance mm. and a steady salary so i guess it, dep it also depends how they were raised you know but that's the key in there yeah how they were raised but i told you like my grandpa has business businesses in puerto rico and stuff so i don't know where my dad's mentality came from. but um so that was my dad trying to protect me because he knew that I wanted to be an actor. You auditioned also in Puerto I, Rico. I, I auditioned for Young. Fast and the Furious. Yeah, without uh, even having yeah, an agent. Yeah, uh, and they, it was funny because they made me take my clothes off. I was on underwear. They took pictures of me. It so was a scam. It was a, n n <laughs> yeah, kidding. it's crazy. Never called me. <laughs> they never called you back. They're no, probably making money off your pictures. Of my pictures, <laughs> which, you know, I was a child by then, so I don't know. But anyways... Um, um, he was just trying to protect me. And I did learn, uh, I sent you this uh, post, I don't even know who was the person who talked about it. It kind of opened my eyes when it says, uh, we can change your parents. Cause you and know how I've been we trying, were trying to do for, 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 for the past for, two years. No. Yeah. When we started our two years, yeah, it's been, it's been two, we're hitting three years. So when we started two years ago, when we learned about honor, um, right. We started small. Then we grew, then we do a percentage, but then we were trying to, going back to that post you said, we were trying to take our parents to places that we think will make them happy or will make them see prosperity, I guess, in a different way or abundance. But what, but 
that makes them feel probably uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. For, like, your family, if you're showing them prosperity, showing them that you're doing better, showing them that you're growing financially, that's the devil. It go, and it goes back to the Pentecostal, Pentecostal. mentality where uh, la moral dinero uh, the, is or, pecado. Or vanity and, uh -huh. and bullshit. Oh, yeah. And then in, in my case is that, that my dad was... It's that poor mentality. So every time we would take him out to a nice place, he would be looking at the prices. He would get and he'd nervous. And he be scared to eat. And he wouldn't eat. Wouldn't order. And it was so weird. Yeah. And and I think recently this last month, or last time your dad came, and we took him to like a tapas place. And I know the man was still hungry. It was, it was a tapas. He, he only not, ate like three plates. He did, and he did not want to keep And I ordering. felt he was feeling some type of way, but I'm like, and that's the thing between me and my dad. We don't talk feelings. Never. They don't. So I have never said I love you to my dad. My dad never said I love you back to me or at all. That's and why he you don't say it to me. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> and then he's never said I'm proud of you mm. in my life. Does that bother you? Well, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna say not because I'm an asshole, but but <laughs> but yeah. Because I'm like, what the fuck, man? That. But with that said when I have my kids it's something that they need to see no bro when I have kids that the moment that kid co or, or, you or my daughter them, comes out of your them, vagina I'm gonna tell him or I her you. I'm proud of you oh yeah, absolutely for getting out of that vagina like a boss you know <laughs> that was my work I'm gonna be no he, that was my kids work no he came I'm out like a pushing. boss and I'm gonna say them right I'm proud of you every fucking day without missing it because because I think you, you need to tell your kid even if you, if you know for for every accomplishment because this is the thing is it's, it's psychology if you tell your kid I'm proud of you for some mm -hmm. BS mm -hmm. then he's gonna keep growing and growing trying to do better for himself yeah it's not like he's gonna expect that I'm proud of you all the time but it, it's like I'm proud of you because you got a, a, a nail on a test I'm and proud I, of you because you got a B and you tried if you tried. Or I'm that proud of you even if you lost the game, I'm still proud yeah, of you because, because you, you, you showed did up. Yeah, you, you showed did up, you, you tried. Even if you suck at a sport and, 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 but you <laughs> and tried we know you suck. And, and you suck, <laughs> You're doing amazing, then, then what's next? What's next? Yeah. But you got to try everything. And I think that's the one thing I did get from my family was that um, warmth. But there was always the negative, which was the argument. Constant arguments, the minivan drama, <laughs> the, trauma. the trauma from the minivans. Um, but that was the one thing that I did always get from my dad is that he would constantly say, I love you. I constantly say they would be proud, showed up to all my, my games. Um, mm -hmm. And I think that's why I'm a little, I express it more. And, it, and you get annoyed. <laughs> and then I told you, I, I don't know, what's his name? Oh, uh, the MMA guy said that he had a he had it rough growing up, but he didn't know how hard he had it until he became a dad. And then he said, oh, like he name. said, I started learning the things that I went through when I became a dad, and and then my relationship with my dad got worse. That's what he said, you know. And then I, and then I, I click in my head, oh my god, when I get to be a dad, because I'm gonna do. Most of the things the opposite, then I'm gonna Same. probably inside me get mad. Like, why he didn't do this for me? Why he never said he was proud of me? Why he never said I love you? Like, it's a big deal. And then know? I, same with me, I have this I don't know if it's a fear of being the yes parent to everything because I was told no to everything. Well, but I also don't wanna make the mistake to, you know, when you give your kids everything. They get they yeah. become little devils. But it's not a fear of saying no. You say no when you have to say no. So what you need to ask is for wisdom so you can make the right decisions when the time comes. So what traditions, because I, I didn't have any traditions besides the ones that I kind of did with my friends when I would gather with, like, you know, Lynette or when I would gather with Amy. And I learned what I learned from them. You learned what you learned with the families and the friends you hung out with. What are some of the traditions you foresee in the LeBron family? Well, we already started with the Christmas. Um, the matching pajamas. The matching pajamas. <laughs> then the, that on the 24th, there is, there is a dinner. Um, oh, yeah. He cooks really good. There is dinner. And then the presents under the tree. 
uh, beforehand. And on the 25th, it's breakfast at 5 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> we got, we got a high hop to got pick up pancakes. Anywhere that is open that sells pancakes. <laughs> Could be whatever to get pancakes. Then we buy coffee, delicious coffee. Then we come home, we eat, open presents, and then we watch movies. And then we try to do that with your parents the first time. Llegamos a la casa with pajamas. But they had a good time. They did. They that, that was probably it. the first time they celebrate Christmas ever. They had a lot of fun. They were asking for the following year. I know, and we didn't go. We did a detox. We didn't. But that's... Um, we didn't go because we've kind of learned how to separate ourselves from our families when we need to separate ourselves. When we need a, a detox. When we need a detox from them. And then with that, I, I created this, um, this circle. This bubble? This bubble for the LeBron's family. A so, so there is a bubble. A burbujita. And they we're inside. And when we have kids, they're going to be inside the bubble. Sasha and Thor are inside of it already? Everybody's inside the bubble. Everybody in my family, from my generation, is inside the bubble. And then, we're going to go out of the bubble to your family, my family, we're going to spend time. We take ourselves out. We take it. They're not allowed to come in. We are allowed to go out. Because there is still a lot of negativity. From both sides. From that both sides. That can damage. Be fixed. Any, you know. Or, you know, if, if we let that happen for a long period of time, it could damage my generation, our generation. True. So then there's the bubble. And then, then we're going to go out of the bubble to spend time, do things. And then, then we'll go back to the bubble. And that's what we're doing. But no one is allowed Adentro. to that bubble. Afuera. Inside that bubble. Adentro. It's Afuera. not it's not like we inside and they come inside because then that will contaminate, right? So we're inside the bubble and we come out of the bubble. Fucking genius. And that's how I protect the generation. You know, moving forward. Mm. You know. Because there's a lot of things that we're starting to do. Even before we, uh, like started like uh, like before we started incorporating like God in the center. Exactly. Okay. There's a lot of things that we were doing before that's still not compatible with our parents. But then since then, it's gotten better. The relationship has gotten better. Uh, it's gotten better, but there are things that we don't like. My father, uh, he's Catholic. You know, if I tell him the things that I do, that we do, that my family do, he'll be like, you're an idiot. And, they, and they're not meant to understand. And we're, they're not meant to understand that sometimes there's going to be topics between family, and we've learned this, that you're not going to speak of. Yeah, and those are and politics, religion, religion, you know, and, 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 know, and, and family. And, yes. Because like what things that we do. Correct. You know? Because they, even though, and I think this is, not so much your side, but this is more my side because you know how in the Hispanic culture they're always like, cuando uno se casa, se casa con la familia. Con la Hell no. And, and, and this is, and, and you've been to Guatemala where grandma, tia, tia's husband, tia, the other tia is next door. They're still living with each other. You know, and, and, la, and grandma, you know, los abuelos se van. They're still living with each other right next door to each other. But it's not, it doesn't have to be, like, you're allowed to say no, or you're allowed to not let negative things come into your life. And sometimes those negative things are your own family. And there's nothing that tells you that if they bring that negativity, that, that you need you still need to be there, you know. you. you I remember the book of uh, Tyler Perry, he said he doesn't really have a good relationship with his dad, but all his bills are paid. He's honoring his dad, but there is things that they didn't agree or whatever the case might be, and, and, and it is what it is, you yeah. know? It, it's not like, it's a, and again, going back to what we learned at, at church and stuff, it's it's not like that, you no. know? You can say no, and you don't have to be there if they don't want you to be there. Exactly. And if they're going to jeopardize your family, then that's, that's your choice, and then you're not going to be part of my family. And but your could... bills will be paid, and you're going to be Facts. taken care of, and you're going to be honored. Yeah. But I can't bring you to my family because you know, you're going to contaminate. Uh, we've learned to distance ourselves and, be, and, and to be discreet about it. 
um, and you don't have to be, you, there has to be just a level of respect. They Mutual have to respect, respect. Yeah, they have to respect you. And we respect and them. And you respect them. And I think I've even told, you know, my parents sometimes where, um, hey, you know, this is what we do. It, it's okay. Uh, this is what, you know, sometimes I've had to tell my dad because he, like, I think I told him the other day that we want to plan a trip and go to London. And he was like, ¿Por qué vas a gastar el dinero? Deberías ir a Guatemala. And I was like, this, this is what we do. Uh, and, 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 and it's okay. That's all I said to him. And he just calmed down. Because he wants to go. Mm. <laughs> I remember last time you had the kuka because your aunt from Guatemala came and um, I brought ciders, beers. And uh, yeah. it was me and your uncle from Honduras, and he wanted one because they're delicious. And I was drinking, and your dad wanted one so bad, but your mom was, was there, there, and that's a scene, you know. And even your mom wanted to try it. Me so then I gave uh, yeah, me, your, your <laughs> other uncle, and then your dad grabbed one. And, he was like, and wow. then your mom tried it, and she liked it. And then your mom said, but don't take pictures because it's church. <laughs> and I was like, deja que te vean los hermanos yeah, de la iglesia. Uh, yeah, I mean... The it it's uh it's going. But we back. respect when the you know they don't yeah. they don't they, they don't drink because of what the church is gonna say. But your dad loved the beer because he used to drink when we were work, working together. My dad deep down yeah. is a is is a not an he alcoholic, just, nah, but nah, he, nah, likes he likes his liquor. Beer, of course, yeah. no problem. And but it's um, okay. but you and, and your mom too probably. But but she's thinking of what the church is gonna say. So that's why then, yeah. then that makes and your that's dad a, mad and, that, and, and and that to me is like going back to religion. Like, is that really a good church if that's how you're feeling? Hell no. Because mind your own business, everybody in there. You know? Don't worry about but, what I do at home. But um, but yeah, you know. But but I think everything changed for good. You know, going back to our beliefs and and the decisions that we make. Um, that change your life for yeah. the better, you know, and, um, and there, there are decisions that I, I think I've told you there are decisions that I thought I knew about because I grew up going to church, but what do you mean? Like, you know, like, uh, certain decisions that we started making, whether it was, uh, the 10%, the honoring our parents that you think you know how you like you think our parents or my parents were doing that growing up, but then you see our prosperity. <laughs> <Their prosperity. laughs> I shouldn't be laughing, but but um, but we've uh, we've come a long way because of certain decisions that we took and that we're starting to take, and that's a whole other topic. Um. Uh, that that. That you might agree with it, you might not, but it's working for us. Um, so, yeah. But I, I think the best, um, the best thing, and something that might work with for everybody is to create that bubble. You know, to have boundaries, mm. and 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 to create a bubble where you put all your family inside, your me- immediate family, your wife, your kids, your dogs, and then if, and if you you're have, single, start with you. You know. Yeah, you have your rules, your boundaries. Mm-hmm. But, you know, and even in the Bible, it says that when you're not married, you're supposed to be living with, back then, right? You're supposed to be living with your parents forever until you get married. And then you create your own family. So there is no, like, we change it. Now you, you get married, but you're still part of the family. So you're going to follow the family like rules and stuff. Going back to, and, like, and, my and, you know, living next door. They can give you advice, but that's about it, you know? There is no decision making in between your immediate family and your family mm. you know um and especially especially when it comes to those topics of politics religion all that stuff yeah. um but you create a bubble and you come out of that bubble you don't let them inside the bubble you come out of the bubble because the bubble is your your shield your protection and sure. and and your generation's protection you know moving forward because you don't want to go back to that you want to Get get rid of the the, the arguments, the, negative. the negativity, the the poor mentality, because the, as, as my family is going to be uh, hustlers, go getters. Mm-hmm. We do want to be Own wealthy, businesses. you know. Yeah, exactly. Um, be wealthy, not rich. Wealthy. There's a big difference, but that's another topic. 
Um, <laughs> we have way too many topics. Yeah, so, you know, and be generous because if it was for my family, uh, everything is for you, you know. They're my dad and, and, and my family. They don't know about that stuff. So And your family too. Uh, so yeah. that's not what we do, you know. We giving are generous. And helping. Giving to everyone, whether you go to church or not, whether you believe or not, you don't believe. It's not my problem what there's, you do. And there's you many know? examples of people that don't go to church or don't believe and are just generous and are just living in abundance. Of course. So you don't have to... All the stuff that we probably speak of, just because it's in the Bible, it doesn't mean that it's not practical in real life. It's like the Believing book I read, uh, what was the last book I read of investment? It's very hard to understand, but I understand a few things only. And those things, they're written... Which one did you read? Soar? No, oh, uh, The Psychology of Money. The Psychology of Money. How do you know that? Because I was supposed to read that one, but you took it away from me, and I, I oh. still haven't read it. I need to read yeah. it. So the psychology of money, really, that's that's where I learned the difference between rich and wealthy. Very different. It's not the same. And another good book I read is Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Well, I gave you that book. I know, but it, I still so. had to read it for myself. Um, but I, those, two, those two books are good starting points to that. But, um, anyways, the, the book of uh, the psychology of money, a lot of rules, a lot of good advice written by i don't remember his name but he's like an investor he knows a lot about money and wealth and all that stuff he didn't mention anything about jesus or anything like that in the bible but some of the practical um things elements you can find them in, the in proverbs because which is the best book if you want to be rich uh, proverbs or the psychology? proverbs but it's also good for wisdom yes well, wealth and wisdom. but when wisdom wealth come that's true so you read proverbs and you apply those things it's like reading a book that had nothing to do with Jesus because it's kind of the same, similar like self practice. Like help, self-help books. M many self-help books have nothing to do with Jesus. But if you read them and then you go read scripture, they're almost, they, 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 uh, they're, they're, they're they've similar. They blend yeah. similar or, or yeah. I guess the point is to, you can create your own traditions you can create your own boundaries. You don't have to mesh your old family with your new family. Like it's okay to do different stuff. Be different. We Believe are so in different. different stuff. Believe in different things. Do different things. Act in different ways. Think differently. And then come together and, and learn how to coexist. coexist. You know, uh -huh. and in respect every, each other. You know. I respect you, you respect me. My 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 home, you respect. Mm -hmm. And when I go to your home, I respect. Mm -hmm. You know? And, 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 and I think that's what we've been doing. It, it worked. We're still learning. Yeah. You know? Still learning. We do uh, take time. Your parents is easy because they're here compared to Yeah, mine. we have to travel but, to Alabama. You know, always. <laughs> and again, always. They will always be honored. Eventually, all their bills are going to be paid. And retire them. And have nice homes. And then uh, if they want. If they want. Or know. remodel their homes to make them more comfortable. But, and, 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 and by doing that, that's a blessing that you're going to receive. So we honor like your parents and your parents always said, God bless you. Oh, right? que te, yeah, or like, uh, que Dios te multiplique, multiplique, things like that. Right. And then, um, so that that's huge. That when 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 you say when you you give, mm. you honor your parents, and they reply with "God bless you," all this good stuff. Yeah. Then we honor my my dad. And even though he doesn't, I don't think he knows or understands. So the first couple of times that we started with my dad, he would ask me, "What's this? What's this?" Nos mi cumpleaños, nos yeah, navidad. Yeah. And I and I would say, "Don't worry, I didn't have to explain anything because because he's not gonna understand, and it's okay because he's not. I'm not doing it just for him. I'm doing it for being obedient." Bitch, I'm high.